If you don't know me, my name is Dr. Beth Brombos. I am a blogger. I've been blogging for about four years or so. I am an author and I am really excited to be helping bloggers turn the content that they already have into a book. Hi Jack, thanks for inviting people to watch. I do appreciate those shares a lot. Uh, so today I wanted to get on, um, because I know as a blogger I definitely struggle often to fill my blog's content calendar or I've been at that place, which I'm sure you bloggers have too, where you are just literally staring at a blank screen and you know you need to get a blog post written and you have no idea what to write about, uh, which can be pretty frustrating. Um, so I've been talking lately about why bloggers should write a book. It will help you um, you know, build your authority on the topic that you're blogging about. It's going to just help you build your platform. You'll be able to share your passion in a different way with people who may not know about your blog. They'll find your book through different avenues, um, such as Amazon, Kindle, that sort of thing. And then also it will bring a little bit of passive revenue to your blog, <laughs> which is always a good thing. So having a book is a great tool, but you can also use your book to help fill out your content calendar. So if you have a great idea for a book and you just don't have the content written, it's a great idea to repurpose kind of back and forth. Take what you've written for your blog, put it into your book. Likewise, if you know what you need for your book, if you have your outline written and you know, oh yeah, I need to be sure to cover this uh, you know, topic or this subject because my readers really need to know about it, but oh my goodness, I haven't written a blog post about that yet. Put that in your content calendar and then that will not only help flesh out your blog's content calendar, you're going to get those posts written that will help drive uh, readers to your blog. It's going to be one of those evergreen posts that people will keep coming to time and time again. So it's really valuable blog content. And you're also creating content for your book at the same time. You're getting your readers to do a little bit of a proofreading for you in a way. Uh, if something's unclear, they'll let you know in the comments if they have questions about something, you know, it's a good uh, indication that you might need to elaborate on that subject a little bit more. So it's a great way to get some feedback from your readers too. And these are people who would buy your book as well. Uh, so definitely think about not only using your blog content to create your book, but likewise using what you need to have in your book and using that to help you create blog content. Uh, it's just smart to repurpose. We're all really busy as bloggers and so maximize the time you have and make sure that you're being smart about how you are spending your time and really just be smart about knowing when you can repurpose your content and when you can, you know, kill two or three or 10 birds with one stone really. <laughs>